Hey, y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? This crowd is buzzing right now. Tonight, those cats won't even be able to hear themselves think. Let's do it. It's game time in Philadelphia as the crowds at Wells Fargo Center look to cheer on the 76ers. Now a chance to check out our State Farm starting lineups. And guys, taking a look at Dwayne Wade, what will we see from him? And he's a go-to scorer for a reason. Kevin, he's aggressive, he can adapt to what the defense is doing. You can put your best defender on him, it doesn't matter. Wade will still find ways to get to the basket. Yeah, he's able to make acrobatic finishes and shots that you just can't believe he does i mean it takes your breath away steve it's a hard shot and an impossible shot yo what up i'm back got some of this my career gang and the sixers taking on miami and i've been waiting for this matchup all season man. i've been looking at the schedule trying to find out where they were as uh, lebron blocks my shot i definitely um Definitely wanted to get out here and play against LeBron. See how, uh, see how you know if he felt any different than a lot of the players that I had gone up against. They get this alley oop, so he finished that real fast. And um, as D Wade misses the easy dunk right there, I wanted to see if he played any different. You know what I mean? Like I played against Carmelo, I played against Durant, I played against Pierce, I played against Rudy Gay. And I can definitely tell you that there's, you know, there's clearly a difference between defending somebody like Durant and Carmelo and defending Paul Pierce. And it's you know, different from defending Rudy Gay. It, it all feels different. So, I mean, pretty much, you know, I, I wanted to see how I would do against LeBron. I wanted to see if I could actually D him up and see if I could slow him down, stop him. And, you know, basically, I, you know, I'm waiting for that challenge, man. I was ready for it started off okay I didn't really do too hot offensively early in the game like um, you know his his defense I think I mean he's easily the best defensive player I've gone up against because he doesn't get he doesn't get really get shaken by anything I don't know what his defensive numbers are but I know I mean off of this game alone his on-ball defense is ridiculous like he doesn't get shaken by anything and like, I guess they, they gave him the reactions of a, of a god, because dude, I mean, he don't have he don't, he's not even near the play. If you try to put up a shot near him, he just leaps up off the ground and just gets the perfect SWAT animation every single time. Like, dude is ridiculous. Offensively, I really wasn't wasn't worried. I felt like if I could uh, cash money, if I could stay between him and the basket to limit the alley oops. I felt like, you know, that gives me an advantage because it kind of forces him to shoot jump shots or at least try to take me off the dribble to get his scores, which is what I want, and I want him to, to work for it, and that's uh, foul number one. And as we'll go ahead and, uh, go ahead and take off real fast, go ahead and then, uh, mm, check me out. And most definitely, by, by this game, man, my, uh, my dunk is actually pretty decent. I got me a couple dunk packages, man. I'm looking pretty good right now. Like, I mean, I don't want to say greatest of all time, but hey, greatest of all time. And like I said, remember what I told you about LeBron blocking my shot again and foul number two. I'll take that foul, man. Limit the damage. You know, don't give them, don't give them a chance at a fast break. And uh, you see, man, I'm just not not really feeling it, man. Early on and taking some, I took some bad shots. Dwayne Wade is another one. That dude is ridiculous, man. I mean, uh, what's his name? Um, Jay Rich. He was on him pretty good, man. And it's, it's just defensive pressure, as you see my shooting numbers right there. Defensive pressure really didn't seem to matter to him. Like, he was just, he would make anything. Like, any anything he put up, everything he put up went in, pretty much. And it's, and it's I mean, it was crazy. And then, uh, cash money. And this is actually the start of the second half. Um, I didn't put the, the commercial in there at this game because the video actually came out very, very long. LeBron dunks on me like I'm not even standing there. And um, we actually ended up tying the game up before half. And I decided, like, man, I got to pick my game up because, I mean, I'm playing terrible and this game is tied. I feel like if I can play my game and actually get going, you know, this, this, is, this is the cakewalk right here pretty much as far as I'm concerned. 
So go ahead and uh, you know, LeBron had to foul me there because he didn't want to give me the open shot. I go ahead, knocking all three B's on all of them. We passed that test. Then. Let's go. Contest that. Trying to get it on the break. Hit him with the. Oh, whoop, got him. Mm, get some of that, LeBron. Let's go. Go ahead and give me that ball. Give me that ball, Drew. Give me that. Let me go ahead and make some. Whoop. Ooh. Mm, get some of that, LeBron. What you doing? What you doing? Cash money. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. And, uh, you know, go ahead and hit him with a little step back. Mmm. A little bit of step back, step back action, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Look at that, man. The defense is picking up. We're building a little bit of a lead. And I see Chris Bosh, so I'm just going to take the three cash money. Mmm. We're balling right now. After struggling that first half, man, I found my mojo. And look at, Le look at LeBron, man, just sauntering back. I'm like, nah, nah, you're going to pay for that. Mmm. You're going to pay for that one, dog. You know what I'm saying? You're going to pay. And then uh, before I could get straightened up on defense, hit me with a spin move, and he just takes me to the cup. And it's foul number three. But most definitely, I definitely feel like this game was ours if I could get going. I didn't think there was really anything they could do to stop us. Because, I mean, D-Wade wasn't, I mean, he was he was still playing great. LeBron was still making some shots, but I made uh, foul number four right there. I was making life a little bit difficult on them, making them work for their shots. They're missing their alley-oop dunks. So, you know, it makes the game definitely a lot easier from our perspective. I go ahead and... Mm, uh, uh, um, it, uh, uh, as a good uh, foul number five. I got to stop trying to, trying to block dunks because, uh, like I said earlier, you can't block a dunk unless you force the... Ooh, ooh, ankles. Ankles. Ooh, what's, what's the foul that ref? Where's that foul? I'm not going to lie to you, man. When, whenever Mike Miller was on me, or uh, like Ray Allen or Richard Lewis, I always looked at that as that advantage me because when LeBron was on me, I couldn't go anywhere. So if I got somebody else on me, I'm taking that matchup right there. I'm, I'm taking it, going ISO or do what I got to do to try to take him off the dribble as Nick Young gets ripped by D Wade and slams down the easy dunk. But definitely, I think uh, I don't, I'm not sure if home court really mattered, but. They definitely didn't play, uh, that could have been my sixth foul right there. I gotta be a little more careful. But it definitely, I think it definitely played a, a little bit of a role in this one. Because, uh, I mean, I think if we were at their house, we would have been getting blown out. But I was able to put, you know, put something together, man. The team went on a little bit of a run. Missing the alley-oop dunks still. Out here running. And, of course, if I'm open, Drew will see me. That dude is a monster, man. And, uh, and pretty much, if I'm open, I don't I don't like to call for the ball because if I do, the defense swarms, and there's foul number six. If I call for the ball when I'm open, the defense seems to swarm to me faster than if I just kind of stand there and wait for the computer to wait to you know to kind of wait for to see what the defense is going to do and kick me the ball. For some reason, it just seems it just seems to be that way. But uh, mm, get that out of here, though. And uh, you know. Definitely, I mean, we were up by double digits when I fouled out, but I still was kind of, you know, uneasy about not being in the game in the fourth quarter against, you know, against a, you know, the cheesiest computer team there is. I wasn't really sure if my team would hold out, but, I mean, there was only about four and a half minutes left. I decided to go ahead and watch the rest of the game from the bench, man, you know. How often do you really get to watch the game from the bench? My teammates, man, they went to work. Drew Holiday, like I said, that dude is a beast, man. His his shoot numbers are through the roof. I think like his mid range is like a 92, his three is a 94, inside is a 90. Good layup. I mean, the dude, the dude has everything. The only problem is, look at that, look at that shot, dog. Yo, he was a monster, man. The only thing he's missing really is uh, he's he's not really aggressive. Like, you know, I can give him the ball wide open as uh, Chalmers hits the floater right there. And I've noticed that the, the floater is the computer's go-to cheese move, you know. It, that thing goes in way too much. But, uh, you know, it's all good, man. As long as we hold the lead. Go ahead, look at that, man. Finishing with the tough layup in the paint. 
I feel like as long as we hold, as long as we can keep at least a three-point lead with a chance to go to the line to ice the game, I think we're, I think we'll be okay. And since the Heat aren't really trying to shoot threes, they're trying to get into the paint. I feel like we got a good chance to come away with this W. Go ahead and look at, look at this, look at this, look at this play, man. Drew Holiday, Andrew Bonham stepping up in the clutch. Though. Bonham really played his heart out after I left, man. Look at it, sending that, sending that away, man. You can definitely tell the crowd appreciates it, man. The crowd just went wild. I mean, I never heard of him. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a seven-point game. Well done converting those free throws. He was not going to pass up that opportunity to pad the lead. Goes right up. Yes! You can tell, man, the fans appreciate me, man. Chanting MVP for me from the bench. And I'm not going to lie, man, that, those beat the heat chance, man. That, that had me weak, man. I was like, yo, that is sick that they actually put that in the game. That was hot. My team's able to hold on for the win, man. It was, this was a really good game, man. Definitely shows that my team still got some heart, man. That's what I've been looking for. Now it's time to present our Jordan player of the game, Big Red. Is there anything different you did to facilitate that? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let me see, man. Uh, I'm trying to go back through my day and see if there was anything different. Uh, let's see, man. I woke up when I usually do. Still ate my breakfast. Uh, hit the gym for the shoot around and uh, did the same pregame routine. Yeah, I really can't think of anything that might have brought this on. I guess it was just a result of all the work I put in leading up to today. Hopefully that'll carry over into the coming games as well. <laughs>